To get right to our top story tonight, residents within one portion of Wetzel County are no longer drinking the water. Thank you for joining us tonight for 7 News at 6. I'm Taylor Long. And I'm Royce Jones. The Payton City Water Department services close to 1,300 customers. Their water is contaminated with high levels of a chemical substance that's typically used for dry cleaning. This has been a problem for years, and now the city can no longer financially maintain it. Now they're running out of money, and the city's mayor is asking the state for assistance. People are afraid to drink it. They're afraid to bathe in it. They're afraid to wash dishes in it. When you run the water in Payton City, it's clear, but EPA testing shows otherwise. This water is contaminated with a chemical called perchloroethylene, or PCE, a solvent found in many degreasing and consumer products and commonly used at your local dry cleaner. We had a um, dry cleaner facility in our town that discharge chemicals down to drains and um, it leached through our drain system into the ground. Payton City supplies its own water. They have four wells. Currently, three of them are contaminated, testing 5.5 parts per billion and five points above the maximum contamination limit. We would like to know how they're going to correct this problem. The water has tested positive for PCE since 2010, but numbers didn't spike until last summer. The city's resources for maintenance are diminishing and they can't afford the repairs. Only one of the city's three air strippers work. Those are the machines they use to oxidize and dissipate the chemical. Engineers suggest the mayor implement a six tray stripper system as one of the only permanent solutions, a costly repair of about $240,000. Now, Mayor Hochstrasser currently working with a number of government agencies for monetary assistance. We should not have to worry about what's in our water. The mayor says PCE at these quantities don't propose any immediate health risks, but residents aren't taking any chances. Our school can't really drink it, so we can't, after them, we can't drink the water. Flint, Michigan, Love Canal, that would be Niagara Falls. These were all covered up for years. And now there are major health problems. The mayor says members of Thrasher Engineering have been providing the city with estimates for repair costs. They currently have representatives in Charleston speaking with officials about that water problem.